100 million coins. Even by today's inflated standards, that's an impressive sum by all means. I mean, soon you'll be able to buy a giant sword with it. <laughs> it takes most players over a month to acquire their first big 100. But just how fast can you actually do it? December 4th, 2021. Birdy Virus makes a tweet saying how funny it would be if he got 100 million coins on a new profile in under a week. And Simon even dares him to do so, putting 5,000 schmackaroos on the line. Birdie of course completes the challenge and wins the chicken dinner. But while everyone else was celebrating Ferdy's triumph, I got an idea. What if I did this, but way quicker? What if I did this within the time span of one day? But Powliner, how is that even possible? Shh. I'll talk about that soon. Because I didn't want anyone to recognize me and potentially skew the run, I bought an alt account and named it uh, simply Sample Fan. I don't know why, but my A brain thought it'd be funny. First things first, can't be going into this challenge sad. So I turned that frown upside down, launched Minecraft and joined Skyblock at 11.18 AM. The race was on and I'd be lying if I said I didn't prepare beforehand. I knew exactly what I was gonna do. But first, I needed to unlock the bazaar, and for that you need farming, mining and foraging 7. This was all very simple. For farming I just harvested wheat in the hub for a few minutes, for mining I bought a promising pickaxe from this gentleman and mined the ores at the bottom of the gold mine. And for foraging I single-handedly reversed all the efforts of Team Trees. Upon unlocking the bazaar, I was finally ready to insert the subscribe plug to this video. Come on now, don't be shy. Also, consider giving the like button a little pat on the back if you like what you see. Anyways, the bazaar would be my ticket to immense riches. Now the way Ferdy got his 100 million was primarily through killing zealots. But not only is that not fast enough, I also just don't have the time to get everything needed in order to one-shot them. Similarly, every other good money-making method required higher skills and proper gear. Every method except one. Flipping. I first sold all the materials I got from leveling up my skills and bought the cheapest pet on the market just so I could unlock the pets menu and never see them again. Then I uh, closed the game and went to eat breakfast? Man, why didn't I just, you know, do that before starting the challenge? We may never know. Now the very unfortunate part is that after coming back to my PC, I forgot to hit record again. Amazing, right? Here's what I did though. I bought 5 nerd shark teeth and 8 shark fins on the bazaar and crafted a dull shark tooth necklace. This thing had absolutely insane margins. I paid less than 10k and sold it for 69k pretty quickly. Nice. With that money I of course crafted another dull shark tooth necklace at its upgrade, which uh, somehow goes for less on the auction house. Still worth it though. My goal with this was to get around 200,000 coins, because with those I could begin my master plan. On the side I was putting in orders for Noel Adams and selling them to the NPC since it was just free money. And after flipping a few more shark necklaces, all the requirements for my master plan had been met. And by all I mean one, because all I needed was 200 000. Anyways, I know this is a video about becoming rich, but you know what I like more than materialistic things? Knowledge. But you know what I like more than knowledge? Materialistic knowledge. My master plan wasn't some crazy 100 slot crafting recipe. It was books, Ultimate Wise books to be more specific. You see, Ultimate Wise is in very high demand. And when I say very, I really do mean it. Most of the time when you try to buy the Bruh. cheapest one, or even like the third cheapest Bruh. one, it's already been purchased by someone else. Bruh. Because of this people get impatient and just buy one for more than they could have if they had just waited and kept refreshing the auction house for long enough. But I knew how to snipe these books pretty effectively. The auction house refreshes once every 30 seconds or so, and if you got a good refresh and were fast enough, you could snipe these books and just put them back up for way more than you bought them for. With this method I got to 2 million coins pretty quickly, and decided to branch out my little bookstore. You see, even if a book is in very high demand, not everyone will be fond of it. That's why you want to include as many possible different books by different authors in your bookstore. Oh wait, I forgot this is about skyblock books. <laughs> Same principle applies though, I wasn't gonna just flip ultimate wise, that'd be both boring and inefficient. The next one I set my sights on was wisdom, which is just a bit more expensive and a bit less in demand, but still very easy to sell. 
Now you might be thinking, Paul Liner, this won't work, you'll reach the auction limit way too quickly. And you'd be right. But luckily for me, I had one more trick up my sleeve. You see, these books are truly magical. I still can't believe this works, but if you take four wisdom ones for example, and combine them in an anvil into a wisdom free, you can just put it up for way more. And it sells. I'm literally not making this up. Oh, and would you look at that, I pressed the record button again this time. Wonderful. Actual live footage now. Anyhow, at this point I was buying wisdom and ultimate wise books like crazy, and both just selling them as ones and combining them into frees and selling them. I did this for a while longer, and then I saw something peculiar. Someone lowballed my ultimate wise free, and that's all nice and good. But out of all people, it was my friend, Bromovica. Well, he didn't even know I was doing this challenge, let alone that I am in fact simply sample fan, but I still found this to be a betrayal of gargantuan proportions. I forgave him though, because I'm a nice guy, and did what friends do best. Lowball him right back, baby! Anyways, at this point I had enough capital to set my sights on some more extravagant books. The first of which was Overload. I managed to get 4 Overload ones for about 3.1 million coins, and after doing my secret anvil technique, and <laughs> no one will ever figure this out, I put it up for 3.59 million coins. But Overload doesn't sell nearly as quickly as the other two, so I had to wait. Soon after I also started flipping swarm books, which were really good due to a recent meta shift inflating their price by a lot. This is how my auction house looked at this point. Then I logged off, ate lunch and logged back on to collect my earnings. At this point I now had over 10 million coins altogether and decided to start doing some bizarre flipping on the side as well. You see, if I put in a buy order for 4 very pointy teeth, I could make the highest rarity shark necklace for like 1 million coins less than it actually sells for. Only problem with this is that no one has great white shark teeth. Seriously, I had to cancel the order and place a new one like 10 times before I got my 4 teeth. But when I got them, it was just a free 1 million coins. I also started doing some very safe bazaar flips. This was basically just putting in buy and sell orders for enchanted emerald blocks, since even if they went down, I was safe, because I bought them for below NPC sell value. Next up was Legion, and it's honestly the exact same as the other ultimate enchantments. Not gonna bore you with this one. But basically, I went bazingo. A bit later, however, I found famous YouTuber good guy Kevin in my lobby, and decided to do a microscopic amount of trolling and ask him for a screenshot. Imagine how stupid he must feel watching this video right now. I even told him he's my favorite YouTuber, even though my name is literally simply Sample Fan. Anyways, I found that a Flower of Truth was a nice bit of profit to just craft and sell. So I bought Ancient Roses and did just that. During this entire time I was buying and selling all kinds of books. Let me tell ya, my bookstore was thriving. I basically had two Ultimate Wise Freeze, two Wisdom Freeze, a Swarm Free, a Legion Free and an Overload Free up at all times. But my point is that I sold a lot of these stupid books. And I really do mean a lot. Besides this, I was constantly checking the bazaar and relisting my orders, looking at Ancient Roses and so on. Later on a really funny thing happened, where Ancient Roses were somehow selling for 450k coins. Even though the Flower of Truth's price did not change at all. So I decided to manipulate those a bit and it worked for a while. After a bit more experimentation with bazaar flipping, I got to around 95 million coins if all my auctions sold. At this point, I had to face my final obstacle. Being very tired. It was now 4am and my eyes were literally closing themselves, so I had no choice but to call it a day since I would have just fallen asleep at my computer otherwise. But the grind doesn't stop for some stupid sleep schedule. And after waking up at around 9.30am, I got back on, collected my auctions, did the last bit of flipping I needed to do, and I finally did it. I got the 100 million coins, with an hour to spare at that. Now while this miraculous run of flipping proportions was happening, something else even more unbelievable was going down. Every election Barry's participated in, he's lost. Completely. All he's ever done is lose. But this changes now. Barry's finally gonna win his first ever election. However, winning is not enough. This must be a truly epic victory. We must get Barry to 69% votes, because funi numero. Anyways, that's my 24 hour 100 million coin journey summed up. I'd say all of this was around 13 to 14 hours of actual gameplay, and that seems pretty impressive to me. If you're interested, I'll leave the link to my high auctions in the description. 
Oh, and to all the people whose money making method I've temporarily ruined with this video, I have one thing to say. I am truly sorry, and will spend the next 24 hours reflecting on my life choices. Anyways, gonna go watch JoJo's Bizarre Adventure now. Goodbye, suckers! Thank you.